Right, I'm just making a uh, quick video uh, on my shed. What I found is um, I had no guttering on my shed and basically the water's coming off the roof um, and because it's like on paving slabs, it's hitting the paving slabs and it's making the bottom three boards of the shed quite wet. So I'm sort of worried about the uh, shed rotting down the bottom. So what I've decided to do is to fit some guttering. If you can see this across the top. So that's what I've fitted. I've, fit, I've fitted, the plan is to fit it on both sides. But I've fitted some guttering. Um, basically just to get rid of the water. Because like I said, I'm worried about the, the, the shed uh, rotting. Um, now the guttering, I, I wouldn't recommend to anybody that you buy this guttering, right? Because it's really expensive. Um, and I got it from this place here, Professional Building Supplies, um, and, and the guttering for this shed, you can put different sizes in, um, it was 90 quid for a guttering pack that would do both sides. Now, this is what it looks like, that's what it comes like, it's basically just like mini guttering, it comes in two metre lengths, I think you get, I got um, four two metre lengths. And the downpipe and it comes with fittings like this and basically basically the fittings just sort of clip on clip together you've got an end there look um, as an outlet and you stick your out outlet on the end um, but it doesn't come with any angles so when you get the kit from the, from that place it doesn't come with the angles so I bought the angles I think they're 110 degree angles that angle and that angle, um, I got them from Screwfix. They're not expensive. The angles, I think they're about two quid each or something. I'll have a quick look at the receipts. They're not expensive. Let's have a look. Um, they're one ninety nine each. The angles. If you look at that, I don't know if you can see. That's what it is. So according to, uh, if you go into Screwfix, it's Flowplast Mini Line. Uh, guttering I, I needed some extra like the, the the kit comes with I think it comes with uh, six brackets so like three aside but that's not enough I put like one bracket there one bracket there uh, one bracket there one bracket there one bracket there I've used six brackets on one side that's what I've used and you're supposed to use three brackets on one side so there's not enough brackets in the kit so you've got to buy some more brackets you can get them from uh, screw fix but yeah all in all i think it's a rip-off i think it's it's so expensive you know what i'm saying is if it's cost me over a hundred pounds for the guttering to put the guttering on the shed um i don't think it i don't think it's worth it they they, they sort of say that this mini guttering looks better because it's a bit smaller than sort of traditional house guttering um, but I, I, I wouldn't recommend anybody to use it because it's uh, so expensive. The second thing I had to do as well is the way the guttering sits, there was a gap between the gutter and the roof. I don't know if you can see, but basically it meant that the, the water would fall in between the guttering and the, uh, and the roof. So what I added was this plastic strip. If you can see that plastic strip on there... Um, I got that from Screwfix. That comes in two metre lengths, and I th it's like this. It's like an angle, like that. And basically, what I've done, I've screwed that onto the edge of the edge of the roof um, to make the roof just that twenty mil longer, so the water then falls in the guttering because it would it would have fell in between the in in, in the gap. There was like a ten mil gap between the the shed roof and the guttering uh, because of the design of the shed so I've had to fit that as well I say that was cheap that's that's all right but yeah let's just say just a quick review um, putting guttering on a shed roof the angle as well I don't know whether whether the angle of the the, the angle of the sheds um, of the base is quite high but as you can see I've had to put quite a big angle on it to get the water to run down um, it's okay, it works uh, and then what I've done also as well is I've glued, I've had some no more nails uh, waterproof no more nails and I've put that on the joints here here, here and here um, 
people are recommending that you don't you don't do that reckon recommending that uh, you just have it as a press fit but it's just a waste of time it just doesn't it doesn't hold together very well i think you definitely need some adhesive on it um to sort of keep it in place but anyway that's my quick review of my uh, shed guttering uh that i wouldn't recommend that you buy okay thanks a lot bye